All righty, um, everybody, welcome back to Inspire with Jamel. As you guys know, um, my positivity journey has been disrupted, and I'm in the process of getting my footing back. And so to do that, I'm listening to inspirational videos and motivational clips to try to get me back on track. And I'm doing my reaction based off of where I am now and where I am in this, this journey. And so um, not where I want to be, but just where I am. So today's clip is actually a really emotional one for um, for me, but it's by Patti LaBelle. Um, it's a life, Oprah, I think it's one of Oprah's life or master classes, but it's only two minutes long. So let's get into it. Barbara Beauty, she died of cancer. And Vivian and Jackie died of cancer. Jackie, the day before she died, she asked me to make her egg sandwich, and I had just gotten off the road, and the hospital was five minutes from my house, and I said to my aunt, because Jackie couldn't speak very well, then I said, Aunt Honey May, tell her that I'll make it tomorrow. The next day, I made the sandwich, I said, Hattie, I'm on the way, she said, don't rush, your sister just passed, and I held that, and I still hold it, because it was it's a minor thing for me just to make a sandwich because she loved the way I cooked. I miss my sister Jackie like crazy. I adopted her son Billy and our daughter Stacy. And uh, I sang at her funeral. And right after that, I did my video of If You Ask Me To. And the tears were, were tears because. That was the day that her casket was closed in Elizabeth. But I learned a lot. Live your life today because you have no idea what can happen in the next hour of this day. You know, so love the ones you love, but let them know you love them. She knew I loved her, but I was busy touring and I was too tired to make that sandwich that day. So do it now. Do everything now you can for your family. I'm holding on to my son, Zuri, and my adopted kids because we're all a family I have. And um, life is strange. So take advantage of each day like it's the last day of your life. So oh, um, I love that. Um, you guys know I lost my dad this year, New Year's Eve. What you may not know, um, I lost my grandmother. Uh, I think she passed away in 2000. 2001 and um, I've accomplished so much since her passing my grandmother was my best friend um, she was the grandmother she was the one I would stay at home and skip school just to be with like everybody else is skipping school to kind of go hang out with their friends or the boyfriends or girlfriends I would skip school and hang out with her I would play sick to sit at home and watch Price is Right and Murder Shoe Road and Perry Mason with her and so um, I will forever cherish all of those moments. And I was one of the fortunate people to be able to say to her goodbye um, before she took her last breath. Um, like she was still in her good mind, uh, her right mind, and it was at home. Um, I am just so grateful and so grateful and so thankful for that. And that kind of led me to where I am now. Um, and being able to deal with my dad in his passing a little differently. Uh, my dad, he had cancer as well, and we knew that his time was coming. We knew it was short. It was probably a two year long battle. And so the last you know, six to eight months, we, we knew it was progressing. And um, the last year, I would probably say, the last year, he would make every excuse to kind of, you know, see me or get me to come by. He didn't need it. I would show up, you know, spend time with him because we did not have the best relationship, not with me growing up. But the last couple of years, I got a chance to know him as a man and not just my dad. And so when it came down to the last couple of months, I was able to show up to tell him goodbye. Um, I was able to say that I'm there. Um, you don't have to hold on for me because I'm his only son. Um, and I think he received that. I'm almost certain that he did. 
and listening to Patti LaBelle kind of go through her experience and it just reminded me of how grateful that I am. I am. I am so thankful because not everybody get a chance to say goodbye. More importantly, not everyone is able to remove the heartening foolishness that's around your heart so that you can be open to receiving love from somebody that just didn't know any better. When you know better, you do better. Getting a chance to know my dad as the man that he is or was, it was a lesson that I will never, ever forget. And it's something I would never, ever take for granted with anyone else that I love. I hope you get that. And I'll be inspired to do the same. I love you guys as always. And um, until the next one. <laughs> Namaste.